you doing now? I try to make the, the game uh, perfection. I try to make it a perfect game for myself. His way is to befriend them, to soften them up, uh, to try to feel, uh, make them feel like he cares about them, and then he goes out there and physically tries to destroy them. Van Gundy said that I was a con man, which I've never seen con man use in a, you know, um, in a polite or, or respectful way. For some reason, league-wide, it's important to be liked by him. I have no idea why. You take negative criticism in a, in a, in a I take it in a positive way to go out and, and prove a point. I'm sure that uh, Michael will use this for motivation. Right around the streets. Now, the circle jumper, MJ has really got it cooking. Takes a couple times, fades, fires, you bet. Evolved to be more of a mental challenge for me than a physical, you know, and that's one of the reasons that I still play the game because I can challenge myself. Patrick is one of my best friends, but yet at one point in time in that series, I was ready to go blows with him. Shooting it well, four of twelve. Jordan is fouled by Wilkins. And and Michael looked over at us and said, he can't guard me, he can't guard me. If Jordan's rage to prove himself inspired his teammates, it could also burn them. I've seen Michael come in a lot of times and, you know, knock over all the Gatorade cups and go off and say, if y'all ain't gonna play, stay in the locker room. Phil Jackson was never the coach of that team. Michael Jordan was the coach. Jordan was the one who yelled at them. Jordan was the one they feared. Jordan was the standard they had to live up to. Michael is just, he's killing Bill Cartwright all the time. In the locker room, in front of everybody. Cartwright gets Michael aside and he says, look, if you ever do anything like that again, you will never play basketball because I'm going to break both your legs. He said some things to me that I really didn't like and, um, and uh, I couldn't take it. If you let him ride you, he would ride you to the moon. He would ride you right out of the NBA and out of your mind. Phil put Steve Kerr opposite of me, but he was giving Steve all the calls. And I'm getting like really ticked off. So I started to play very, very physical. Well, Steve started giving me hard fouls. Next thing you know, I hauled off and just whacked him right in the eye. And then Phil threw me out of practice and I get home. Couldn't get it. And put back home, it did fall. Now Michael Jordan and Reggie Miller having a go at it. And I mean, we got fist rolling. Here come the benches. Bo Hill is out there. Uh -oh. Bill Jackson's going out there. There'll be fines handed out all over the place here. But more importantly, what in the world? And I think we had that same attitude. Jordan. A running conversation with Stacey Ardman hits for the... When you trash talk, yeah, that's a game. It's, it's a game of uh, psyche now. They're talking to Michael right now. You love to see it. He hit the saddle on you, and then he tells you about it. Jordan and Starks chatting with each other. They try to take it as a one-on-one -on -one competition to me, which totally takes away from their team concept. The one thing when you play against Michael Jordan, you not only have to stand up to him physically, you have to stand up to him mentally because he will torment you. I know how to play the game. I don't think they know how to play the game when I'm talking to him. Looks for something to get him in this kind of frame of mind. It's like that. He wants Starks to come back at him. No matter what trash you talk, we're going to talk the most trash and we're going to back it up. Let's watch Jordan. I think he's talking to uh, Matumbo. I told him I was going to shoot this with my eyes closed. Nah, you won't do it. You won't do it. But he never know. Now, I've done this before. As you know, I closed my eyes and shot it and made it. And I told him, welcome to the NBA. And moved on. At this point... And he's going to say after the game, well, it took a long time, but it was worth it. 
Well, it was just good movement. They get a couple shots. They come up with the offensive rebound. Good post pass, and then the hard cut along the baseline, and a terrific drop pass from Luke Longley. <laughs> There it is, Michael with the pass underneath. Jason misses, Michael's gonna catch it on the outside. Down the lane he comes, he hammers it down home. So MJ got the technical foul for... He doesn't know about this, he's never ridden a motorcycle. You never understand what it takes to be a winner. <laughs> Something you wrong. had to go there, didn't Did you? Did I say something wrong? Did no. I say something bad? Okay, uh, when you guys are out, though, I mean, does this go on all night long? All night long. All night long. All night long. And, and if, if I'm winning... Yeah. Because, you know, everybody that, else is That's not me. often. Hey, listen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's winning. Listen. Yeah, see, they, they in the park on a Sunday afternoon saying, I got you, you got me. A little headbutt right there. Come on, get some next week. I'll see you at the park again. <laughs> <laughs> all access with a mod. You're on. Hello. Happy 50, 60th birthday, you old man. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that saying that? Yeah, okay, when I see you on the golf course. Yeah, you're... hey, man, where the hell you at? Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't 60. Oh, uh, well, okay. <laughs> With all that gray hair in your head? Hey, if, look here, you don't have any hair on yours, and you ain't 60. <laughs> at least if I did, it would be gray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it'd be only on the sides. <laughs> so, but you know who was the original number 23, don't you? No. University of Oregon? Who? You, what? Who was the original? You know University of Oregon running back number 23? Oh, no, I don't know who that was. It, well, who was the 20? It was before you, though. Uh, I, I mean, you were before me. Are you trying to say you were 23? I was the original number 23. Amazing, no one remembers you. <laughs> <laughs> no one remembers. That's kind of a shot, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I can remember you had 28. It was college. College, I was 23. Oh, wow. And why did you change it once you got to the pros? I wanted to start a new uh, legacy. Yeah, well, you, you started a legacy that everybody forgot that you would. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I, I can take that from anybody but you. <laughs> it was an ugly game for us. Um, no, nobody shot the ball well. Uh, and we've already gave ourselves names in the locker room. I'm doo doo he's <laughs> 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 So, uh... <laughs> I'm about to leave after that one. <laughs> Done now.